Hi and welcome to this week's Children's Church. We're learning all about the importance of God's house today. But to start off, we're going to sing Jesus, You're My Superhero. So you're going to need lots of space to be able to do all of the actions. Are you ready? Let's go. Did you enjoy that song? Did you join in with the actions? Are you a superhero? Well, Chloe is going to read from the International Children's Bible for us to tell us all about today's story, all about God's house. But it was almost time for the Jewish Passover feast, so Jesus went to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found men selling cattle, sheep and doves. He saw others sitting at tables exchanging money. Jesus made a whip out of cords. Then he forced all these men with the sheep and cattle to leave the temple. He turned over the tables and scattered the money of the men who were exchanging it. Then he said to those who were selling pigeons, Take these things out of here. Don't make my father's house a place of buying and selling. When this happened, the followers remembered what was written in the scriptures. My strong will for your temple completely controls me. The Jews said to Jesus, Show us a miracle for a sign. Prove that you have the right to do these things. Jesus answered, Destroy this temple, and I will build it again in three days. The Jews answered, Men worked 46 years to build this temple. Do you really think you can build it again in three days? But the temple the temple Jesus meant was his own body. After Jesus was raised from death, his followers remembered that Jesus had said this. Then they believed the scripture and the words Jesus said. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks Chloe for reading that story, that's really fantastic. Today in the craft we're going to make a bit of a reminder of ourselves 
from the story today is really when Jesus went into the temple and he was really angry that people were not using God's house in the way that God had intended. So we're going to make ourselves a little poster. And in this poster we've got some open doors and it tells us to welcome, come in, everyone is welcome. But we have to remember that God's house is a house of prayer and God's house is the church. So that's what we're going to make a picture of. So you'll need a piece of coloured card, a piece of white card, some tissue paper if you've got some, some scissors, some glue, a ruler, a pencil and some felt tip pens. So the first job is we need to draw out our church, our God's house. So I'm going to use my ruler and my pencil. I'm going to try and make it even on both sides, that's why I'm using my ruler. There we go, can you see I've got the outline of my church and then I'm going to draw the doors at the bottom. Now these are double doors because we're going to use these to be able to open it up. There we go. So I've got my doors at the bottom. So I'm going to cut it out. So if I cut the outline first, put it around the top. So I've cut the top out and I'm going to open these doors. Now we have to be very careful because we just need to cut up the line in the middle that separates the doors and then just across the top so that we can fold our doors out. Can you see? So we should be able to fold our doors. So if you fold it onto the, the line that you've drawn, your doors will be able to open or close. Now we need to put a stained glass window at the top of our church. So what we do is fold your drawing in half and then start cutting down. There we go. And then we've got a little hole there that we're going to put the tissue paper on. So the next job is to put the tissue paper on. So if you get your tissue paper, <clears throat> you don't need very much. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off. Make sure it covers my hole and it does just about. So now I'm going to put some glue on the outside of on the edges so that I can stick the tissue paper down. Perfect, and I'll trim it off. There you can see, so I've got my window, I've got my doors. I'm now going to stick it onto my blue card. So I have a weight measure up first, and then I need to put some glue on. Remember, don't glue on the door flaps. 
So all over, but not on there. Because we want to be able to open our doors. There, can you see? So I've stuck it down, got my doors. So now I'm going to use my felt tip pens to add bits. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a cross on the top of our church building to remind us of the reason that God's house is there. Next, I'm going to write on the doors. And I'm going to write on one side, welcome. And on the other side, please come in. You see? Welcome. Please come in. And then if you open your doors on the inside, you're going to write everyone. is welcome in God's house. Can you see? Everyone is welcome in God's house. And the last thing we're going to do is to put our message from our story today across the front. And the message from our story today is that God's house, the church, is a house of prayer. It's a place where we go to be closer to God. So that's going to be our reminder. God's house is a house of, and I'm going to write prayer in a different colour, so that it stands out, it's a really good reminder. And I'm going to write prayer in capital letters. And there we go, there we've made our reminder of God's house. And every time we walk into church, this is what we go for. We go to pray and to go to be closer to God. Hey. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Lucy, for that beautiful prayer. I hope you've really enjoyed today and that you've had fun singing and dancing and that you enjoyed making the craft. If you did, please send us some pictures of the craft that you made because we'd love to include them in our main children, the main church service. We'll see you next time. Have a really good week, your first week back at school. Stay safe and I'll see you next week. Bye.